All right, look, this is the deal, bro. Y'all not about to sit here and tell me that Sasuke is dead. I don't care how many chapters it's been. Y'all not about to sit here and tell me he's dead, bro. He's alive. I already have a theory of where he's at, bro. So look, this is the deal, bro. They already came up with a plan before the King of Konoha because Sasuke is just analytical like that. He's not gonna go do something or he's not gonna tell Boruto to do something without a proper plan. Their main goal is to save Naruto and release Ada's omnipotence. So obviously they're gonna need someone smart to do that. Either Amato, who is most likely not affected by Ada's omnipotence. And then you got Orochimaru, who's just probably like a, a brainiac, you know? I wouldn't even hold it past him if he wasn't affected by it. Orochimaru is like, who who can I compare him to? He's like Mayori from Bleach. He always has an answer to stuff like this. The thing about it, Boruto was meant to be a distraction while Sasuke infiltrates the village and either conversates or kidnaps Amato. But most likely he's trying to find Amato because he is the one who created Ada. The only reason Ada wasn't a thing earlier is because she was supposed to be stronger than Jigen. Any Borg or Cyborg that was challenging Jigen's power was ostracized. That's why Code had to have his limiters on, you know? I think that's the reason they infiltrated Konoha was to just talk to Amato or kidnap him in some type of way. I doubt kidnap because that seems a little rough, but you never know. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here, bringing you guys another Boruto 2 Blue Vortex discussion. Today, I wanted to address something that I've gotten a lot of DMs from either people on Patreon or over on Twitter, which is now that everyone's freaking out about Sasuke being gone for the second chapter in a row, a lot of people ask the question of if Sasuke's gone, then just be patient. Just be patient. He coming, bro. And when he come, he gonna make a big grand opening. Trust me. Trust me. It's just he not in the fight. They're just talking about the fight right now. You know, with the Claw Grimes and Konoha. When that fight's over, then we'll probably see what's up with Sasuke. So in the next two chapters, don't freak out if y'all don't see him in chapter three. When Barto just gives it to Code. Well, I know Code is going to run because he's not going to stay. That Uzuhiko is looking crazy. I wouldn't stay. Code is going to run. Mark my words. When that chapter comes out and Code runs from Barto, come back to this video and say, you know what? You know what, Duga? You was cooking, bro. Surely he must have a really good reason. We'll for see him in chapter the four, though. While the village is being attacked, and the conclusion seems to be that most of you guys believe that Sasuke is either dead or he's off getting a new arm. And while I've given my thoughts on where I think Sasuke is, because I have an editor working on that video explaining the exact spot I believe that Sasuke's at, and that should be getting done in the next few days, so you'll be seeing it probably next week. Obviously, I don't believe Sasuke's dead. I've already discussed that much before i've already said exactly why i don't think sasuke is before but this idea of sasuke getting a new arm is something that never seems to go away it seems to come back every major i don't understand why people saying sasuke is going to get a new arm it's already been stated that even with the arm it wouldn't increase his fighting power as much but some do believe him having one arm does cut his chakra in half and do i believe that to an extent, but I still believe most of his chakra output just come from having that Renegon. That Renegon probably outputs the most chakra we've seen, bro. And he doesn't have any Uzumaki genes as well. Because y'all got to remember, Nagato having the Renegon, he was a Uzumaki. And then Madara, he did have Hashirama cells in him. You know, and he had Sage Mode at that point. He did have Sage Mode. He absorbed Hashirama Sage Chakra. So at that point, his Chakra Reserves were pretty buffed up just from that. Every major event we have in the series, and since we have a renewed interest in this topic, I want to discuss what was seemingly the overwhelming reason that people believe that he's getting a new arm, and particularly one that's made by Orochimaru, the original mad scientist of the Naruto franchise, because the logic is that while Orochimaru's memories of Boruto and Kawaki are likely swapped as well, his loyalty to Sasuke is something that would be unaffected by Ada Shinjutsu and is something that we need to factor mm -hmm. in as fan. Orochimaru, due to having that loyalty to Sasuke following his win as he called it in Naruto's manga, Orochimaru would be the one to do what's needed to assist Sasuke when he needs help and that Sasuke knows- Okay, but what does Sasuke having another arm going to affect? Even if it does make him a little bit stronger. Is, is he stronger than Code at that point? Probably not. Is he stronger than Kawaki at that point? Probably not, you know? And the enemies that we see from here on out are most likely going to be stronger. So the only reason I see Sasuke getting another arm is just for his chakra reserves. 
if you believe that him having one arm affects that. Now, he should be looking for another eye. <laughs> you know, that's what he should be looking for. But another arm, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to do him any good at this point, you know? He's facing a threat in code that is stronger than Jigen and will eventually have to help Boruto deal with Kawaki, another threat beyond Jigen, and is the one that Sasuke's memory believes is Naruto's son. While that would require him doing like Genjutsu on people like Yamato, that's well within Sasuke's capability. The idea of a Orochimaru okay. is someone who is able to get into a lab and cook up a Mangekyo showing off a Shin Uchiha. The idea that Orochimaru can't make another arm for Sasuke it's absolutely crazy if anything it's more likely to be more useful than that magical Hashirama cell arm that everyone wants Sasuke to take so badly which reminder Sasuke already got pumped full of Hashirama cells by Kabuto in the war after Madara stabbed him so getting a Hashirama arm wouldn't be the magic yeah. end all be all like a lot of fans have convinced themselves will be the case however Sasuke is used to being poked and prodded by Orochimaru the man has had a fascination with Sasuke's body for years now and has shoved all types of things inside of Sasuke in the name hold of on what are you talking about what did he just say Bro, what did he just say? With Sasuke's body for years now and has shoved all types of things inside of Sasuke in the name of science and... <laughs> Alright. Can we be mature here for a second, bro? Can we be mature here for a second, my dude? My guy, can we be mature here for a second? Stop laughing. Alright, relax. Calm down. I just, like, I just want to know why would he say that? Like, what did, what did he mean by that? ...his body for years now and has shoved all types of things inside of Sasuke in the name of science and reason. In the name of science. Okay. All right. Okay. Damn, I got to gather my thoughts back, bro. That, nah, that's crazy. But um, yeah, the curse mark was something he Im imbued into Sasuke for all the wrong reasons. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So if you want to say he put things inside of Sasuke, it was all for the wrong reasons. Now... If you want to say he does know his body, he does know Sasuke's body to a T. So I believe he can give him a new arm. Like I said, would he need a new arm at this point? What would it matter for? Like, what would Sasuke's role be at this point in the story besides finding a way to reverse Ada's omnipotence? I feel like Boruto does better in a role where he's not really the brains of the whole operation, but more of the, the brawn, you know? He's there to enforce his will or sasuke's will onto others so that means rescuing konoha if that means taking down code if that means restraining kawaki i and i can't wait to make a how strong is boruto after the time skip because there's so many things he has said in this chapter which leads me to believe that this dude is damn near universal at this point like it's just not fair and i don't want to think that because of some vague quotes or phrases he may have said in the chapter but it's getting to that point where you can't deny it i mean i might have to wait one more chapter to really make a good video on it because some of the things he says is kind of vague or has little to no context on it but if i take it from a a grain of salt like, like let's just say let's just say we'll take the quote where he says lead me to the ten tails right if you take it to where it's like trying to tame the ten tails or he knows a way to tame the ten tails then it's like okay he might not be as strong, but he's still strong. But if you if you take it to a fact that like he may be able to destroy the Ten Tails, that's a whole different story. A whole different story. Because at that point, if you're saying he can destroy the Ten Tails or defeat it or subdue it in any type of way, then at that point, it took all five great nations working together to just restrain the Ten Tails. And it didn't even defeat it. It just restrained him for a second, maybe dazed him. But if you're saying Boruto can kill it, Come on, bro. Come on. That's that's in, that's insane. That's insane. Because I wouldn't say it took Sage six past Sage more Naruto because he didn't have it at that time. And Sasuke didn't have the Rinnegan. Naruto did have KCM too. Sasuke did have EMS. And they did help in that too. So that means Borto would be stronger than KCM two, EMS, Sasuke. And probably like 75% of the five great nations put together. Now, do you think that's some otherworldly power? I do. I do. That's high tier Otsusuki level. Research. So the idea of Sasuke going to extremes such as this for a new arm wouldn't be crazy. And Orochimaru could make Sasuke some pretty interesting things in terms of arms and even using his DNA to clone an arm form. 
since he's made clones in the past, including a clone of himself he could do that. in the form of Mitski and Log. However, I do honestly that. don't. What about the Susano arm? That was a thing, remember? Remember y'all said Sasuke can make an arm out of Susano, even if he couldn't perform perfect Susano at this point. He can still probably, you know, make an arm out of the Susano. That would, similar to what Madara did, but it wasn't an arm. It was kind of like a, it was kind of like an extension. It was kind of like an extension or another arm, you know, not just making an arm for him, another arm. So I think Sasuke could probably make an arm out of it, Susano. That would be tougher. If y'all watch Black Clover, it's kind of like how Fogolion made an arm out of fire after he got his arm destroyed. We kind of need something like that. Don't think we're going to see Sasuke go get another arm for Ochimaru. I'll be very extremely shocked if that's the case. It's yeah, I would be too. something that would be cool to see. I can see that. Orochimaru making that arm would lead to a few benefits for Sasuke, but allow me to explain why I don't think that this is going to be the case. It goes back to what we saw in Boruto's anime. Following the moment where Sasuke got his Rinnegan destroyed by Momoshiki, who was controlling Boruto, Sasuke upon speaking to Sakura and Katasuke and getting the news that there's no salvaging the Rinnegan that Momoshiki destroyed. Sasuke Damn. merely took it for what it was, a card that he was dealt, and he's less bothered about not having an eye than the actual fans themselves are. His response was literally him saying that a shinobi makes do with the tools that they've been given, and this wasn't something that started in Boruto as the new train of thought for Sasuke. It's something that began all the way back in Naruto chapter 699. Sasuke was still when he was leaving the village. Just stay a little while longer. Tsunade is almost finished making that Hashirama cell arm for you and Naruto, but Sasuke turned down the arm and he left. We know in the official That's epilogue crazy. story set after the- Hey, so where's the arm though? It's, it's like they just finished, like they just like they just scrapped it or something? Like where's the arm? I doubt it's still there. Ninja War that the reason Sasuke did this was a complicated reason. He conceded the fact that he lost his arm when he was down in the darkness and had to be saved by Naruto. An act of kindness and an act of love by Naruto that literally cost both of them their arms. Sasuke used that lack of limb to remind himself of what happens when he allows himself to go too far and keep himself in check as he struggles with some of the darker impulses in his body but also to remind himself yeah. of what it is that he's fighting for moving forward which is to support the peace that naruto's ushering in and the family and bonds that sasuke is building in kona sasuke's stance is a self-imposed punishment it's similar to the main character and the side character from my literal favorite series of all time Roni kenshin kenshin was known as a legendary manslayer and never allowed himself to settle down in one place until hmm. and find love was pretty good Karu, his future wife and eventually made peace with the sins of his past by righting the wrongs to go all the way back to his days as a manslayer at which point eventually he gives up his iconic reverse blade to the next generation a true sign that he's forgiven himself sojiro a young child who was almost as skilled as kenshin in the art of manslaying sojiro takes a vow that changes his ways a form of self-imposed punishment as well sasuke taking those types of stances that's in care Character. He didn't just walk okay. the line of darkness. He dove pretty deep inside of it. Something that a lot of fans downplay out of love for Sasuke's At this point, he believes if Sasuke does get another arm, it would diminish his character because of all of the vows he made to himself and all of the, you know, his cognitive ideas about him not having an arm being symbolic to how he took a step into darkness and him not having arm just reminding him about what he went through in the past. So if you want to take it from that account, then yeah, Sasuke doesn't need another arm. Like I said, even if he doesn't have an arm, it's fine. But I do think he needs an eye. Like at that point, he does need an eye. But at the same time, I think that Kishimoto making Sasuke lose his Renegade at the same time Naruto loses Karama. It's sort of like a means of saying, okay, now their time is over. Now it's time for the next generation to step up. They're out the story. And it's like trying to keep Naruto and Sasuke as balanced to each other as possible i know at this point they might not even be rivals anymore but i guess he still wants to keep them near the same power level because they always have been let's be honest except like early shippuden and early og naruto naruto and sasuke has always been relative in power so at that point i don't think sasuke is going to get a power up or he's getting a power up right now i think it's more of like strategizing i think sasuke could should take on that strategizer role in trying to restore everything instead of just trying to overpower people at this point he just can't do it but yeah sasuke should definitely just 
tried to support Boruto, try to make him prove why he's Naruto's son. That's the whole reason Sasuke agreed to just go along with Boruto. He has to prove that he's Naruto's son. He gotta be him. It's all about Boruto trying to prove himself at this point. Character. There's a reason he has a lifetime probation at the discretion of the sitting Hokage because he did quite a bit in a very short period of time. You don't get to walk away unpunished after you become a rogue ninja to join Orochimaru. The man wanted for killing two out of the five Kage, aligning yourself with the Akatsuki to the point of wearing the robes <coughs> and attacking a shinobi inside the Cloud Village and attempting to murder that Jinchuriki from their village, attacking a neutral country when you kill dozens of samurai during the five kage summit in the lane of iron you attack the five kage you killed the acting hokage approved by the feudal lord you started the full ninja war on the side of the akaski and then only helped the alliance not because you were in your own good deeds and had a change of heart and you saw the world was all sunshine and rainbows that wasn't the case because you were plotting a coup attempt against the five nations including eventually killing naruto then killing the defenseless five kage trapped in the infinite Tsukiyomi, then forcing the biju under your control to release the infinite Tsukiyomi because you didn't need naruto to do it and then you were going to rule as a dictator by being the uniting force of hatred for the ninja world the lack damn of hey, yo helping stop <laughs> well, hey wait he makes it like that <laughs> hey sasuke deserves a little bit more than a few years in prison or something like or a few months in prison either he don't need another arm bro because he was a menace back then Kaguya cancels out the whole I help save the whole world argument in, in the eyes of a lot of people in universe. We know that much is still the case based off of the prologue of the Sasuke Shinden teaches star people story as well as the reaction to Sasuke in the manga when you had him being disrespectfully called out of his name. And what the hell? Hey y'all look at the book cover now that's insane. Why did I peep that? Sasuke having to take trash. He's wild. He's Shinobi wild. Because Sasuke literally has no rank in the universe. Shadow Hokage is not a real thing. The idea that Sasuke during this time where Naruto is gone and needs to be the one saved is believed to be dead by everyone in universe. The idea that Sasuke doesn't take another arm but works with what he's already given. It's in character form as a character. It is the in character. The reason I say that is that we literally know as of Boruto Naruto Next Generations Chapter 80 that Sasuke was scared out of his mind that he was making a mistake by saving Boruto, even though he had all this evidence presented to him because the Shinjutsu is just that overpowered where someone with as strong of a sense of conviction as Sasuke was doubting himself, where he says he can't even trust his own memories and is unsure as to if he's making a mistake or not. Sasuke isn't taking a new arm unless there is no doubt left behind. And the fact that his own memories are telling him that Boruto's lying is enough for there to be the smallest seed of doubt that will prevent him from taking a new arm. If anything, you're more likely to see Sasuke take up a new arm after everything's been reversed. And the reason that I say this is what better way to make peace with what you've done in the past, the sins that still burden your soul to this day, than by saving the rightful son of the man who saved you from the darkness that you still can't forgive yourself for falling into, helping to unseal Naruto, the man who saved you from that darkness and set things right. Just as it took Kenshin making peace and settling the skeletons in his closet from his day, he's just a I also do believe Sasuke may have, I don't want to say retired, but he, you know how Kakashi was in Boruto part one. He was there, but he really wasn't in the fights like that. That's why he gave Boruto all his stuff, his sword, his cape. He really just is just trying to find a way to release Naruto. He's not trying to engage in the fights. He knows, if anything, Sasuke knows where he stands in this fight. He knows where he stands. That's why they, he was trying to train Boruto to be not only on the same level as Code and Kawaki, but leagues above them, as we see in chapter 82. So I do believe Sasuke is smarter than what y'all give him credit for. I also believe Kishimoto isn't going to let his second best character, his second best character, just go to waste like that. Off, off screen? Off panel? They're not going to off panel Sasuke. 100% they're not going to do it if they kill off sasuke it's going to be some dramatic case it's going to go viral it's going to be a big it's, it's going to be like gojo dying you know what i'm saying let me chill because gojo might not be dead <laughs> let me chill bro but it, it gotta be something like that it gotta be something like that it gotta be as big as like a gojo versus sukuna thing like it's going to go viral they're gonna have a whole bunch of panels to it 
you know it's going to be a big thing same thing with naruto probably even longer if naruto does die he probably will survive the whole series who knows he probably will grow old but if anything i do see sasuke dying manslayer and making right the ultimate sin he committed when he got that scar on his cheek sasuke is headed down a similar path not too unlike what we've seen with the tropes we've seen with old japanese samurai stories and films when it comes to honor and sacrifice and redemption it's gonna take a while before sasuke is able to truly forgive himself damn i keep forgetting about hinata hinata is stuck in there too god damn yeah you gotta rescue hinata too bro <laughs> That's just Naruto. My fault. Of course, past actions. Everybody keeps forgetting. If you really sit down and look at where the narrative is right now, this could be setting the stage for Sasuke to finally forgive himself for his past actions and truly be redeemed, most importantly, in front of the eyes of so many other people because this would be the ultimate way of restoring the honor of the Uchiha clan. Restoring the Uchiha clan is not having a bunch of babies like people have been saying for the last 15, 20 years in the Naruto community. If you're saying that, you totally don't understand what Sasuke meant by restore the Uchiha clan and this right here is a good way to actually do that again I know this isn't the sexy answer I'll probably get some people pissed off because I gave this answer but that's my it is what it is everybody's gonna be pissed off anyway Sasuke pop up with a new arm which means that Sakura is still probably gonna be the one picking up Sasuke when they play adult wrestling in the bedroom but that's the answer I think is most fitting just like it'd be fitting for you to peep this Oceano Code chapter review on Kryptonian Saiyan Nah, bro, he's a freak boy. He's a freak lord, yo. Yo, he go, he's a freak. He's a freak. But anyway, I shout out to bro for the video. Anyway, what do y'all think Sasuke's at, bro? I ain't gonna lie, I do not believe he's dead. Look, this is what I think, bro. I think next chapter, Code is going to run from Boruto or a retreat, tactical retreat. He's gonna call it a tactical retreat. But AY is gonna call him a bitch because Code has been running from too many fights. He needs to catch a dub. He's not going to beat Boruto. He's going to just run. He's gonna retreat. And then we're just gonna have a whole thing between Boruto and Kawaki. They're gonna have a standoff. Will they fight? I don't know. Probably not. Or maybe they'll have just have a little scuffle. But I don't think it's gonna be nothing serious. And then Sarada and Boruto are gonna talk and he's going to mention Sasuke and he's gonna reveal where Sasuke is at after this whole thing is over, you know? Or we can switch panels or, or they're gonna switch panels to Sasuke and reveal that Sasuke is still alive, you know? And he, he's gonna be talking to either Amato or Orochimaru about something, or he's just going to be in the background just waiting for everything to calm down. That's what I believe. But let me know what you believe is going to happen in chapter 83 or chapter 3, whatever you call it. I'm going to just call it chapter 3 of Two Blue Vortex. Leave that down in the comment section below. And until my next one, I'm out. Peace.